Hello guys, today we are talking about car engine main parts. An engine is a machine device to convert one form of energy into mechanical energy. Heat engines burn fuel to create heat, which is utilized to perform useful work. It is a complex machine built to convert heat from burning gas into the force that turns the wheels. The engine has two types, one is the internal combustion engine, and another one is the external combustion engine. The internal combustion engines are burns their fuel inside the engine cylinder, and the external combustion engines are burns their fuel outside the cylinder. The engine is one of the most essential parts of the automobile industries, or we can also say that the engine is the heart of an automobile. So in this video we will talking about the function and construction of each engine parts of IC engine. Main parts of car engine are cylinder block, cylinder head, crankcase, oil pan, manifolds, gaskets, cylinder liners, pistons, piston rings, piston pin, connecting rod, crankshaft, camshaft, flywheel, engine valve. Now let's take a look at each of engine parts, with details starting with cylinder or engine block. It is the main fundamental part of an engine. A cylinder block consists of three parts the cylinder in which the pistons slide up and down, the port or opening for the valve, and the passage for the flow of cooling water. The cylinder block is usually made of grey cast iron, or aluminum, and its alloys, while the crankcase is fixed to its bottom apart from these other parts like timing gear, water pump, ignition distributor, flywheel, fuel pump are also attached to it. Coolant passages are provided in the cylinder walls for the circulation of cooling waters. Cylinder block also carries lubrication oil to various components through drilled passages that is called oil galleries. Cylinder head. Cylinder head is another main part of an engine. It is usually made up of cast iron and aluminum alloy. The cylinder head is attached to the cylinder block using studs fixed to the block gasket which are used to provide a tight leak-proof joint between the head and block. The cylinder head contains a combustion chamber above each cylinder, and it also contains valve guides, valve seats, ports, coolant jackets, and threaded holes for spark plugs. It includes passage for the flow of cooling water. There are three different types of cylinder head is available that depends upon the valve and port layout. Loop flow type, offset cross flow type, inline cross flow type in the loop flow type the inlet and the exhaust manifolds are on the same side which helps preheating of the intake air in the offset cross flow type the inlet and the exhaust manifolds are placed on different sides of the cylinder head in the inline cross flow type the valve is positioned transversely and usually inclined to each other while the inlet and the exhaust manifolds are on different sides of the cylinder head. So this arrangement gives better performance but it is costlier. Crankcase. The crankcase is the housing that surrounds the crankshaft and it is the bottom portion of the cylinder block. This is a rigid construction made of grey cast iron or aluminum either. It can be cast integrally with the block or can be cast separately and attached to the block with bolts. The function of the crankcase is to provide support for the main journals and bearing of the crankshaft rigidly maintaining the alignment of their axes of rotation under various engine loads. Oil pan. The oil pan or sump is attached to the bottom of the engine through bolts and with a gasket to make the joint leak proof. The oil pan serves as a reservoir for storage cooling and ventilation of engine lubricating oil at bottom of the oil sump. A drain plug is provided to drain out dirty oil. At the time of oil replacement, generally, the sump is made of pressed steel sheet or aluminum alloy. Casting is used. The oil pump in the lubricating system draws oil from the oil pan and sends it to all working parts in the engine. The oil drains often runs down into the pan. This there is a constant circulation of oil between the pan and the working parts of the engine manifolds. There are separate sets of pipes attached to the cylinder head, which carries the air fuel mixture and the exhaust gases. These are called manifolds. It is generally made of cast iron so that it can withstand the high temperature of the exhaust gases. Gaskets. Gaskets are used to provide a tight fitting joint between two surfaces. Gaskets are found in the joint between the cylinder head and the cylinder block. 
between the crankcase and oil pan, and in between the cylinder block and manifold. Materials used for gaskets are cork, asbestos, rubber, cylinder liners or cylinder sleeves. The cylindrical shaped liners are used to avoid the cylinder wear, and it is one of the most important functional part to make up the interior of an engine. Cylinder liners can be replaced after they are worn out. The cylinder liners are in the form of barrels made of special alloy, iron containing silicon, manganese, nickel, and chromium usually, these, are cast centrifugally. These liners resistance to wear and corrosion. These liners are the oil hardening type, that offers considerably longer life for the engine. There are two types of cylinder liners, will be available, they are dry liners, and wet liners, dry liners. Dry liners are made in the shape of a barrel having a flange at the top. The flange keeps the liner in position in the cylinder block. The perfect contact of the liner with the cylinder block is necessary for the effective cooling of the liner. The dry liners are not in direct contact with cooling water. The gas pressure, piston thrust and impact loading during combustion are resisted by the combined thickness of the liner and the cylinder. Therefore, dry liners are thinner, wet liners. Wet liners will be in direct contact with the cooling water at their outer surface. Therefore, wet liner is usually heavy and thick walled. This liner is provided with a flange at the top, which fits into the groove made in the cylinder block. To stop leakage of cooling water in the crankcase, the lower end of the wet liner is sealed with the help of sealing rings or packing rings. Pistons. These are the most important engine parts compared to others. Piston is a cylindrical plug that moves up and down in the cylinder. It helps to convert pressure energy obtained by the combustion of fuel into useful mechanical power and it transfer this power to the crankshaft through the connecting rod. The highest position of the piston reaches in the cylinder is called the top dead center and the lowest position it reaches is called the bottom dead center. It is provided with about three to five piston rings that provides a good seal between the cylinder wall and piston. The efficiency and economy of the engine is primarily depend on the working of the piston. The material used for the piston is mainly cast iron and aluminum alloy, and it may be either cast or forged. The piston is usually small in diameter than the bore of the cylinder. The space between the cylinder and the cylinder wall is called the piston clearance. This piston clearance provides a space for a layer of lubricant between the piston and cylinder wall to reduce friction. Piston rings. The piston rings are fitted into the grooves of the piston to maintain a good seal between the piston and the cylinder wall. The function of piston rings is to form a seal for the high pressures, gases, from the combustion chamber, entering, into the crankcase. The material generally used for piston rings is fine-grained alloy cast iron, containing, silicon, and manganese. It has good heat and wear resisting qualities mainly, there, are two types of piston rings, available, they, are compression rings, and oil control, rings. The number of piston rings used is about 2 to 4 compression rings, and 1 to 2 oil control ring was used. Connecting rod. It is fitted in between the piston and crankshaft. The main function of the connecting rod is to convert the reciprocating motion of the piston into the turning motion of the crankshaft. Connecting rod in an IC engine is must be light and strong enough to withstand stress and twisting forces. It usually has a beam cross section and is made of alloy steel of Durlumen by drop forging. The small end of the connecting rod has either a solid eye used to connect the piston by the piston pin. The big end of the connecting rod is always split, and it is used to connect the crank pin of the crankshaft. Piston pin. The piston pin is also called wrist pin or gojin pin, and it is used for connecting the small end of the connecting rod and the piston. It is made hollow to reduce weight, and it is made from case hardened steel. Mainly, there are three types of piston pins available. Set screw types piston pin is fastened to the piston with the help of a screw through a piston boss. Semi floating piston pin is fastened to the connecting rod with the clamp screw. Fully floating piston pin floats in both the piston bosses and the small end of connecting rod. It is prevented from coming in contact with the cylinder wall by two circlips. Crankshaft. The crankshaft is the engine component from which the power is taken. It is one of the main power transmission sources in all engine parts. 
It is the first part of the power transmission system, in which the reciprocating motion of the piston is converted into the rotating motion with the help of connecting rod. The crankshaft is made of casting or forging of heat, treated, alloy, steel, and is machined. A crankshaft consists of crank pins, wedge balancing weight, main journals, and oil holes. The front end of the crankshaft carries three devices, our gear or sprocket, vibration damper, and the fan belt pulley. A gear or sprocket operates the camshaft and the vibration damper provided to control torsional vibration. The fan belt pulley drives the engine fan, water pump, and generator with V-belt. The rear end of the crankshaft carries flywheel. The flywheel tends to keep the crankshaft running at constant. Camshaft. A camshaft is a shaft on which several cams are mounted. A cam is a device that changes the rotary motion of the camshaft into the linear motion of the follower. It is responsible for the opening of the valves. The camshaft is driven by the crankshaft and it has twice the gears, as many teeth, as the gear, on the crankshaft and it turns, at half the speed of the crankshaft. Camshaft made from forged alloy steel. There are three types of the camshaft drive mechanism, they are gear drive, chain drive, and belt drive. Flywheel. The flywheel used in a transmission system of a vehicle. A flywheel is a heavy steel wheel attached to the rear end of the crankshaft. The size of the flywheel depends upon the number of cylinders. In the construction of the engine, the inertia of the flywheel tends to keep the running of the crankshaft at a constant speed. Engine valves. These are essential to control the timing of air-fuel mixture entry into the cylinder and combustion products out of the cylinders. Engine valves are located at the inlet and outlet opening of the engine cylinder. The valves fit on the valve seats in their closed position. The valves are mainly made of high heat resistance metals such as chromium, nickel or tungsten steel. Thanks for watching this video till the end. Like, comment and share this video. And also subscribe this YouTube channel.